Whether you're a beginner needing something simple for YouTube, or you're a professional that requires more advanced features, there's a free video editor for you. So coming up, I'll count down the top five best free video editing software for Windows, Mac, and Linux, going over the pros and cons of each. To qualify, the program must not have any forced watermarks or time limits and allow for the export of projects in a resolution of at least 1080p HD. With that out of the way, let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number five is OpenShot. First released in 2008, this free and open source video editor is a great choice for beginners with less of a learning curve than most of the others mentioned in this video. It has a good set of features. Some of those include audio and video effects, a large number of transitions, 3D animations. There's no limit to the number of layers you can have and it supports most file types. The user layout is designed very well. To add clips to your videos, select project files, Go find the clips on your computer that you'd like to add and drag and drop them into the box. Click those files and drag them onto the timeline. To add a transition between two clips, select the Transitions tab. There's many to choose from. Left click a transition and drag it down to the timeline. To increase or decrease the transition, go to either side, look for the double arrows, then left click and drag it to the desired length. Left click and drop it onto the end of the first clip. Then take that second clip and drag it over the transition. Let's see how that looks. While OpenShot has improved quite a bit, fixing a lot of the bugs that used to make it crash and have performance issues, users with low system specs are still experiencing some lag and other issues. Otherwise, if you have a computer that can handle it, it's a great program. OpenShot is available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and now offers support for Chrome OS. In at number four is VSDC. This nonlinear video editor for Windows only is similar to expensive programs like Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. Over the past few years, they've made significant improvements to their interface that would have been previously described as clunky. VSDC is available with both free and paid plans, with their free edition, you get a ton of useful features, including transitions, video and audio effects, masking, and motion tracking. It also allows up to 4K resolution for any exported project. VSDC is more than just a video editor. When you launch it, your choices are blank project, create slideshow, import content, video capture, and screen capture, along with how-to guides for its top features. To quickly begin a new project, select blank project. In the pop-up window, give your project a name. You can leave the rest of these blank. The others you may need to change are the output resolution and the frame rate. When you're done, click on Finish. For those of you familiar with the old interface, you'll notice it's much improved. While VSDC is more user-friendly than it used to be, there's still a high learning curve. On their website, in their how-to section, there's an extensive list of tutorials that will teach you how to use it. Coming in at number three is Kden Live. This free and open source program that's been around since 2008 has put a lot of work into development with new features over the last few years and has improved quite a bit. It allows for multi-track editing, supports just about any audio or video file you throw at it, and the interface can be customized in a layout that works best for you. Also included are dozens of audio and video effects and transitions. In addition, the theme can be changed to one of the various light and dark themes built in. Loading clips into your project is simple. With the project bin selected, drag and drop them into the box, then drag and drop them down to the timeline. If you'd like to change the color theme for the interface, go to settings here at the top, color theme, and select your theme. To learn how to use Kden Live, they've got a manual on their site with a quick start guide and tutorials. For many years, Kden Live was only available for Linux. It now has a version for Windows, which I've tested and works great. And if you have an older Mac lying around, it supports Intel-based Macs. Before we get to our top two, here are three bonus programs that for some of you might be worth your time to check out. Blender, one of our favorite open source 3D creation programs, has a built-in video editor. It has a good amount of basic tools that might work well for your video editing projects. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. 
for those of you that own a Mac, Apple iMovie is an easy to use program for simple edits. And for many years, Lightworks has been one of our favorites. For Windows, Mac, and Linux, it's a professional quality editor that's been used in many Hollywood productions. Unfortunately, the free license has too many restrictions, including the max resolution having a limit of 720p, which is no longer good enough. Otherwise, it would have easily made our top five. Now let's head back to the countdown. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two is Shotcut. This open source program was developed way back in 2004 and is updated on a regular basis. It's completely free and includes a ton of useful features. It offers support for most audio, image, and video formats and allows for the export of your finished projects up to 4K. The video effects include numerous filters, transitions, and color correction to name a few. It features native timeline editing, allowing you to drag and drop your media into the timeline with no limit on the number of tracks for video and audio. The learning curve to use Shotcut is moderate, but in a short time it becomes very intuitive. For example, adding a crossfade is simple. First, drag a clip from your file manager onto the timeline. Add your second clip to the end of the first. Now left click and drag the second clip near the end of the first and let go. Applying it back, you'll now see the crossfade between those two clips that was easy to set up. Shotcut is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Taking the top spot at number one, the absolute best free video editing software is DaVinci Resolve. Released in 2004, its free edition is quite frankly better overall and more feature packed than most paid for video editors. It includes just about any feature you would need to create a professional quality project with multi-track timeline editing, trimming, and HDR grading tools, along with support for all major file formats and resolutions up to 4K. Their fusion tools are built in to create amazing visual effects and motion graphics. Also included are their Fairlight tools for audio post-production. It has a great layout that looks modern. For those of you asking how to add transitions using DaVinci Resolve, here's your mini tutorial. After you've added your clips to the timeline, click edit here at the bottom of the window. Now drag and drop one of your clips over the top of the other. In the toolbar at the top, select the effects library. As you can see, it's already selected. Scroll down to video transitions and select the one you want. Let's go with barn door. Left click and drag it to the portion of the clip overlapping the other and let go. You'll now see a small box on top of the clip. If you left click and drag the outermost edge, you can change the length of the transition. We'll leave it right there. DaVinci Resolve does have a steep learning curve. Before using it, I'd recommend checking out the tutorials available on their site. It's available for download on all the major operating systems, including Windows, Mac, and Linux. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. Hopefully this video helped those of you looking for free video editing software if it did, give this video a thumbs up and share it with others. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our newest top fives and other tech-related stuff.